tell me whether you prefer doing this with your filters Or, would you rather do this with the filters? Now, the product that makes this possible is the Manfrotto Zoom Quick Release Adapters. It comes in two parts. One part that you screw onto the lens itself, and one part that you screw onto the filter. The lens adapter is around £22 or $30, and the part that screws onto the filter is around £12 or $15. And they have quite strong magnets in them so when you bring them together they quickly join and with a little bit of pressure they detach easily as well now I needed a product that would quickly allow me to put on my UV filter and take it off just as fast and then put on my ND filter and take that off just as fast and in my research the Manfrotto Zoom Adapters were the exact product that I needed. Now they are a little bit costly, but depending on your shooting workflow, the time saved from having to screw a filter on, unscrew it, put the next one on, maybe drop it by accident, break it, can actually be cost effective in the long run. Now one of the things I was worried about was whether the magnets on this would be strong enough to allow my Polar Pro Peter McKinnon Edition Variable ND to connect on and allow me to adjust the ND on here and I can safely say that I've had zero issues with adjusting the ND and the magnets are good and strong to hold. If you're enjoying this video then make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe so you can be kept up to date with future videos like this. Now one of the benefits of having this system is that when you have a variable ND and you screw it on normally without this system, the arrow indicating the strength of the ND at that time can end up anywhere around the lens, depending on which angle you caught it at. Um, it could be at the top, it could be at the side, it could even be at the bottom. So if you've got the camera, you can't really see, you know, what strength you're at unless you go to wherever it ended up. But with this kind of a system, it allows you to put the lens on in any orientation. So if you want the arrow at the top, you can just put it at the top. If you need it on the side, you can just put it on the side. So in my case, I need it on the side because another benefit that I've realized is this allows me to put on my lens hood. So my lens hood can go on and then I can just stick this on. Because with this variable ND, it's bigger than the actual lens. So therefore, you can't put the lens hood on if you just screw it on. But with this system, you can put the lens hood on, then you can put the variable ND, and you've got that extra protection plus the guard from the sun that you would from a normal lens hood. Now, because this is an unbiased review, I'm just gonna tell you a couple of the drawbacks that I've heard of um, I haven't experienced them myself, but this is something, you know, just to take note of just in case it does happen to you. So, firstly, having the lens adapter and the filter adapter adds about an extra six millimeters of distance between the end of the lens and the filter, which on certain types of lenses and filters can cause vignetting because the further away the filter is from the lens, the more chance you have of seeing the edges, therefore the vignetting occurs. To combat this, you could just get a bigger filter and use a step down ring for your size of lens. You need to buy the adapters, so the lens adapters for every single lens that you have and the filter adapters for every single filter that you have. And when you add the cost of all of this together, that can get a little bit expensive if you have loads of filters and loads of lenses. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, again, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe so you can be kept up to date with any more of my future videos. In the end screen, you can check out the rest of my Bally Tech technology videos 
of previous videos that I've done. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy those. But once again, thank you so much and I'll catch you in the next video.